that. Oh, looks pretty good. How's my view? How's my view? I don't know. Can I have these beautiful mountains with uh, sunlight coming up over the mountains that way, just peeking over? It's weird. It takes a little longer to get uh, uh, sunny here just because the, the sun's got a little higher to climb in the sky. And, uh, but anyway, I got sun, I don't know, dancing on the mountainside across the way. And it's beautiful, and I don't think uh, my little camera ever does it justice. Pardon me while I eat. I don't feel comfortable generally eating in front of other people. But... I got to do what I got to do, and what I got to do is get my nutrients where I can, and I'll talk about that in a bit. Mmm, strawberries are so good. I'll talk about it right now. I recently moved from um, my hometown area, all I knew, all my friends, all my family, in uh, Chicago, Illinois, to here in Yellowstone Park, and uh, took a seasonal job. Uh, that was going to enable me to uh, uh, provide for uh, uh, my responsibilities. I have two ex-wives and four beautiful kids and needed to put a roof over my house myself at the same time. And after switching careers a year and a half ago, uh, that was hard for me because uh, I had a lot of responsibilities and my income was Hello again. We had a bad connection. One of the hazards of living in a national park is they don't have Wi-Fi towers everywhere. But there's niceties to it as well. But anyway, again, I moved across country. I uh, took a job serving waiting tables in a uh, dining room in one of the areas in the beautiful uh, Yellowstone National Park. And I moved here... Uh, not yet two weeks ago, and I've been working about a week and a half at the dining room, and I just got off of a two-day weekend for me, and I really, really enjoyed two days off. The first week was challenging. Um, I was scheduled a ton of hours. I was worried my body, I'm a 55-year-old guy, uh, wasn't going to be able to keep up with it. And uh, was wondering if I was ever going to get to see any of the park because I, I literally worked over 70 hours in the first seven days. And I uh, was just tired and, I don't know, running from shift to shift and table to table and plate to plate. But sometimes that's what life is, <laughs> running from plate to plate. But anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Uh, for some reason, my comments, and I appreciate you all joining and anybody that wants to comment, but for some reason, my comments are very small on the screen today, so I have a little hard time seeing them. Uh, they go by pretty quickly, and I apologize if I miss them. My name's Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Wednesday morning. It is 6.00, 6 o'clock a.m. Uh, it is June 6. Happy Wednesday. This is a show I've been doing for quite some time. It's a show about me talking. It's a show about me sharing some experiences, sharing a little bit about life, sharing some ups and downs we have, sharing some nutrient tips, <laughs> financial tips, relationship tips, management tips. And I don't know if they're even good tips, but they're certainly my thoughts. They're certainly my thoughts. And that's what's fun about this show. I get to share my thoughts and not have to engage with everybody, uh, <laughs> arguing with everybody who has uh, different thoughts. So... That's probably why I do it that and, uh, uh, wait, you're saying today's Thursday? Ah, oh, yeah, today, is it? I don't even know. Yeah, today's Thursday. All right, well, everyone's correcting me. It's Thursday morning. Happy Thursday. I'll tell you what, try waiting tables once. All the days mixed together, same's true when you're a realtor. All your days uh, do mix together and uh, your Saturdays aren't much different than your Tuesdays because you're working on both days. And uh, it gets kind of confusing. So, happy Thursday to you, and I stand corrected, and I'm going to have to change the title of this video. Um, 
But anyway, this isn't just a show about me talking. Uh, for those that have been watching a while, you know it's also a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I have a nice hot cup of coffee uh, in front of me. And I am so excited to take my first sip at this early hour. My hope is wherever you are and whatever you're doing, uh, that you got a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Oh. Feels so good. Feels so good. Woke this morning. And again, for a guy that talks about habits and instilling good habits and removing bad habits, and there's so many little habits, people often reach out to me because, I don't know, I talk about my struggles and say, hey, how do I stop drinking alcohol or how do I stop uh, fighting with anxiety and stress or get along with my wife better? And I don't know. For me, I don't have all the answers, but I do believe it comes back to habits and routines and your habits make you who you are over time. And for somebody that leans so heavily on his habits and his routines back home to come here, take a new job be in a new location, uh, especially when I'm working 70 plus hours that first week and standing on my feet and 55 years old, aches and pains. Uh, I'm having to reinvent or at least reconfigure a lot of my habits. And again, I'm eating these strawberries. I barely have time to eat today. Yes, I could not do my coffee show. But I like my coffee show, and hopefully if you're watching, you like my coffee show as well. And I've got to start work in uh, 12 minutes, or I get to start work. I get to start work in 12 minutes. And uh, after two days off, it probably, I would almost say it feels good to be back at work today. Might be a little bit of an overstatement, but it'll be nice to know I'm making money again. Because uh, as excited as I am to enjoy the scenery and uh, the fresh air and uh, try something new, I am here uh, to work as well and cover my financial responsibilities and help support my kids and uh, hopefully save up a little bit of money over the next five months Uh to take that next step, whatever that next step is. Good morning, Karen, and good morning to the person above. Again, I apologize. The questions are coming out really thin this morning. Not sure why that is. Uh, but anyway, so it's kind of good to be back to work. Although when I woke up, I wasn't feeling that emotion or those feelings. Oh, you're saying California I have no idea what I can offer this man. I'm only trying to help. The money will be worth it. I don't know what you mean. I can't even read that whole question, but hold on. Let me drink a little more coffee. Oh. Uh, sent a request to be in your video. I don't know why. People always send requests to be in my video. My wife is coming after for the financial responsibilities. I'm having trouble paying. I want to move on. Uh, yeah, no, it's tough. I a uh, twice divorced guy. And uh, you have a lot of commitments, uh, whether you're divorced or not. And uh, you're still uh, connected to your ex-wife, especially with children, forever. And uh, I think no matter what struggle you're having, whether it's that, he offered me a job in California. Well, I can't see. I can't see. Better be really lucrative. I lived in California before. Uh, if somebody offered me a job, send me a message, send me a message. If anyone wants to correspond with me, send me a message. It might take me a little while to get back because I'm going to be working for the next eight hours slinging hash. But please send me a message. Stay where you, I see again that that question's already gone. Uh, it's hard to explain unless you're on my side, you don't know what I mean. Usually there's about this much space for the comments. So I get a few minutes to respond. But now there's about this much, and they they flash right by, and I can just see bits and pieces of it. So, uh, but anyway, you roll with the bits and pieces, and you roll with uh, uh, your situation, and you roll with your struggles as best you can. And believe me, I woke this morning. 
I mean, I got a pretty good night's sleep, but I wanted more. I wanted more, I'll tell you that. And I knew I had to be at work at 6.15, or I got to be at work at 6.15. Just changing the way you uh, phrase that. If you say you got to be at work, it sounds like it sucks. Uh, But if you say you get to be at work, it sounds pretty cool. Hey, look, Yellowstone has street cleaners. Who knew there was litter in Yellowstone to clean? Uh Uh-oh, he's coming back my way. He's coming back my way. He's coming back my way. (laughs) Seems like he money makes compensate. Minimum pay opportunity. Uh, Again, send me a message if you really got a... uh, uh, great opportunity, but the way I found, and again, the most important, this guy doesn't care about my coffee show at all. This guy does not care about my coffee show or my wisdom. He's just kind of going back and forward. Hello, it's Thursday morning. I know, I know, I've been corrected. My apologies. My apologies. I think the street cleaner's moving on. I think the most important habits, uh, and again, uh, because my life's kind of been turned upside down, or at least my routines have, are... uh, uh, gratitude and maybe uh, prayer. And I'm a guy that says that almost with a smile because sometimes I wonder who I'm praying to and does God exist and uh, what does it mean and what is this all about and what is this all for? But I was uh, walking from my dorm to uh, the uh, employee cafeteria where I'm drinking this coffee from and was my mind was racing with a bunch of negative thoughts. And uh, uh, just stuff, just stuff. And I saw a a bit of sun hitting uh, the mountainside across from me and uh, kind of of reminded me to be grateful uh, for so many things and thank God or thank the Lord or thank whatever higher power you believe in. And immediately, I'll tell you what, I was feeling better. Immediately, I was feeling better. And I'm a guy that doesn't even know really what he what he believes and what it all means. Uh, but just being grateful and uh, being grateful to God, or I usually say thank you, Lord, uh, immediately, I'm telling you, made me feel a little better. And again, in the shower this morning, I was probably grumbling, going, oh, it's, I'm tired. Don't want to go back to work. And I realized how good the hot water felt on my body. And I said, thank you, Lord, for this hot water. And I immediately started, my attitude started changing. And as I was walking in, going, oh, I'm going to be here till 4 o'clock. That's a lot of hours. That's, I mean, not a lot of hours, but I'll probably be tired at the end. But I thank the Lord for the opportunity and for the money I'll pay and the ability to uh, cover my responsibilities and hopefully save some money. And then I saw a RV driving by and I said, hey, I'd really like one of those. And then my mind started racing in a positive way and I started calculating if I save a grand or so a month, maybe I can save up five grand this season and uh, put a down payment down on, I don't know, maybe a used RV or figure out some way to get one and then I'll have a mobile roof over my head and I'll be able to go where I want and uh, take my kids on fun trips and uh, uh, maybe uh, live a really cool life. But it all started by turning my feelings around and turning the woe is me and the crap I'm tired and the 
oh, I don't want to go to work. <clears throat> and the way I turned that around was uh, being grateful for the blessings I do have. or the, And I would encourage you to be the, grateful for the blessings you have. And even if you don't believe, and even if you're an atheist or agnostic or whatever, give it a try. Even say it with a laugh. Even say it with a sarcasm. It might work. Uh, thank the Lord for the sun shining and the job you have and the coffee you got and uh, the opportunities you have today uh, to make uh, today the best day you can. And I'm going to have one more sip of coffee because i got to be in work in three minutes. And I'm so excited about it. <laughs> It'll be good. It'll be fine. I'm just working two shifts. My schedule this week, I'm only working uh, probably 45 hours, which to me sounds like a vacation for the 75 I worked last week. And I think with 45 hours, I'll be able to cover my responsibilities, save some money, uh, enjoy the park, and uh, uh, I don't know, and still keep working on my habits and uh, keep uh, hopefully improving a little bit every day. I want to thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you hopping on. Uh, with me this morning. Uh, means a lot to me that you follow along in my journey. You subscribe to my pages and uh, hopefully uh, find some value in them. Uh, again, thank you so much. It's Thursday morning. I hope your week is going great. Uh, I hope you are feeling good. I hope you are loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And as always, hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.